what are we reading on the misnomer of the day? After manufacturer testing, R454B is the most reliable A2L refrigerant. All right, so that's something that we can discuss. Uh, what kind of testing do you think has happened on that, Mr. Silsbury? So just like any other refrigerant, they're doing the basic uh, testing, lifetime testing, et cetera, uh, doing it at different temperatures, seeing if it fractionates, uh, see if it degrades, so on and so forth. But I'll, I'll say this. Um, R454 was just recently introduced. It has not been used um, in the field in any large production or any real meaningful way. Whereas R32 was introduced in 2012, 12 years ago by Daikin. Uh, since then, R32 has been used in millions and millions of air conditioners around the globe with great success. You know, they're not, you know, ex ex exploding. <laughs> they're not, uh, you know, losing capacity because the the refrigerant is fractionating you know it's it's a single component refrigerant it's not a blend like r454 so you don't have to worry about it uh you know coming apart at a molecular level so on and so forth so uh to say that 454 is the most reliable refrigerant um yeah i'm sure there's some tests that are showing that it, that it looks great and everything else and you know and <laughs> Four out of five doctors smoke camels, right? <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> um, you know, I, I just say, look at the track record, right? Before you you make any kind of decision on that. So I would say that's kind of uh, a misnomer, <laughs> so to speak. Well, uh, I mean, it is right. Four out of five doctors do smoke camels. <laughs> Got that smooth flavor. Uh, this is not a, a sponsored a sponsored ad. Uh, Greg, would you like to add something to that? In, you know, I came from being Titan Sport at a manufacturer level as well, and I don't care how much testing you do; it's not the same as it being the equipment actually being installed in the field and being put to this actual strenuousness that happens, you know, out in the real world. Per se, you know, so it's no different than when I went to trade school. What we could learn in trade school was only so much because you weren't getting real live world experiences where you're actually out there working on that air conditioner and it's 95 degrees outside. Sure, they can simulate it all they want, but it's not the same. So I have to go with what Justin's saying here. We've got a proven refrigerant that's been out there since 2012 versus a refrigerant that's new production. Not saying that 454 couldn't be better. What I'm saying is there's no proof there yet. 